you'll be the life of the party. Get the cheese, baby. Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, the kid, Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. You're probably asking yourself, Kid, what are you doing in Africa right now? I'm not in Africa, I'm in Brooklyn, watch. How you doing? Huh? This set right now with Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors is no different than Hollywood right now. I got a lot of stuff going on, making some investments in the Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors productions, as you can see, alright? Take my stuff seriously over here. Alright, editing is key. I'm trying to bring you guys a quality product. Content. Is my content okay? No. It's not bad. This one's not bad either. Alright, what are we doing today, this episode? Trolling for dummies, all right? I'm not calling you a dummy. I'm the dummy here. Yeah. Really not much experience except for this year. I'm pretty, doing pretty well, like I gotta admit. And I pat myself on the back, all right? Cause I'm gonna to reach my back out with the arms. Like I don't lace. Guess this my mooch. That's my boy, Jake. I say it for Jake all the time. He likes that. All right, so what am I doing here? It is uh, trolling for dummies. What I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna try to show, not you tuna guys out there. I'm not talking to you, all right? I learn from you guys. What I'm trying to say is, anybody can do this stuff, all right, when you have the right gear, all right? In this episode right now, we're gonna go through a whole Sterling thing, all right? There's lots of stuff that people can do as you, I guess as you grow in this sport, if you wanna call it a sport. No. I guess it's a sport, sport fishing they say, right? Oh. All right, but if you wanna grow, you could transition to other baits, deep divers, Joe Shoes, Ballyhoo's, all other stuff, all right? It's like a pro, don't I? Well, I'm not, I'm not even close. What I do, I'm an easy, I'm a quick study. I do what I'm told. You listen and you learn. That's what you, you gotta do. You gotta listen, you gotta learn. Sterling comes on board, Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Really happy to have him. And send me all the gear. All right, so now I'm thinking, how the hell do I use this stuff? I don't know a damn thing about it. So what this video is gonna show you is what we did, how we do it, and how we're told to do it by Steve over Sterling Tackle, all right? These guys, you know, you, you like I said in the old videos, you need brain surgery, you go to a brain surgeon, all right? You don't go to a foot doctor, all right? You need tune this stuff, you go to Sterling Tackle. Why? Because this freaking stuff is phenomenal, all right? I, in good conscience, say Sterling Tackle is phenomenal from my experience with it, right? I used it all year this year. I'm very impressed with the product, and I'm a new jack at this, but I'm getting the product beat up by fish, and it comes back in one piece, and it goes back in the bag like when I first got it. That right there will tell you something, all right? All right Why well, say it? Let's show it, all right? We see a fleet, and I drag my gear parallel to the fleet, but down current to the fleet, all right? I'm seeing these, a lot of these guys are chunking. Their chunk's now working. Now we east. I'm east of the fleet. That's my plan, at least. We drop in. What happens in three seconds? Well, hell breaks loose. Seven rods are out. Four of them have fish on. That's new to us, all right? That's cool to fire drill. So bear with us screaming and shenanigans out there. And uh, we do all right. We go four for four. But you have to watch. Alright guys, here's where it gets sketchy. I'm just checking, make sure I'm not going to T-bone any boats in front of us and then put this baby on autopilot and deal with these rocks. Alright guys, let's go boys! Let's down a little more. Let's go. That, that one has to come in more. Okay, but you guys don't have nothing on. Joey, you got to get under me. Let's go. Joey, get that rod. Get the rod. Get under me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. You got it. Go. Just go. Go, kid. Drop the safety if you want. Get the safety line off and move to the middle. 
Mark, you're still in forward, right? Still yeah, in forward. I got one of the on. All right, good. Excellent. You got it, Joe? Good. Try and keep him under that. Uh... Bobby, come and do me a favor. Take that Okay, now I'm coming under you. I'll deal with this guy. Okay, we'll go for that thing. You got it. Okay. What are you doing now, buddy? <laughs> we may be calling Andy the screamer now. Gonna be first, Mark. All right, relax, guys. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Boom. Like, little guy, little guy. Come on, no, no, I got it. Okay, good. Okay, good. All right, I can't go anymore. We'll get back. Go, 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 Coming, coming, coming. Yeah, right there's there's there. We have a guy in a bike, three hours. Mark, did you have a big boy, guys? Bobby, you're on, right? Yeah. yeah we're just trolling. So. Joe, you're on, kid? Yeah. Everybody's on. All right. Uh, but so you know, you gotta go further, Mike. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, you got it. That's Sterling Tyler getting them all listed right now. All right, we got open water here, so we're good to go. We got kid. Yes, we can. We have a big sea rock. I think Bobby, you gotta go on here. Oh no, Bobby's close now. Uh, I think I got another pull Blind. Andy, just don't worry about that. Deal with these guys, Andy. You gotta go to one side or the other. Come, come to this side. Come to my side. Yep. All right. Joey Tiles, we just got molested, obviously, by a bunch of Albies. Joey's me. telling us that he's got a real fish on here. Either which way, on this boat, this you get not, yelled at. If this is not a It real doesn't one. matter. I don't believe that that's a uh, yellow fish. I don't know. This has back on. How come you're not in the corner? You just like standing here. Huh? He's like, he likes. <laughs> hey, did you just fly him from Turkey? That was How many fish was that? Four. Four on the line right now. That was crazy. That doesn't look like a tiger right there. No, it's nothing. No. It's always all over the run. place for this thing, too. Get the fucking fish. Where do you want these? They can go up in the well. We're going to put them in the fish well? I guess. Where are you going to throw them off? We'll keep them for shark bait. Shark bait. Yeah, it's nothing better than that. It's a big fluke. It's a big fluke? That was freaking crazy. I think it's digging deep down. Get out of here, seriously? Is it yellow fin? Oh, s***. God, I was just right. Don't get always on the... I'm not doing it. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. Eat the boat straight. Bobby? All right. Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! How bad is that? I was wrong. Did you just say you were wrong? Yeah, I can admit when I'm wrong. Probably the first time she's ever heard me on video ever say I'm wrong. I was wrong there though. Joey Tiles pulls in a yellowfin tuna on that one. Go figure. Alright, we got a bunch of Albies. I'm thinking that that rise not better than that much. It looked like an Albie to me from far. But when we get it close, what happens? Bobby goes, yeah, yellowfin. yellowfin tuna. Yellowfin tuna to this. How you doing? That goes into the freaking sushi right there. Sashimi gets a dichi. Alright, so that's it right there. I apologize for the, all the shenanigans, all the craziness that went on there, but we knew Jack's at this stuff, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't expect that four fish on at one time. Alright, but that's it. That is the Steve spread. I'll call it the Steve spread. That's doesn't Steve spread. Let's call it Sterling Steve spread. Sterling Steve spread. That's too, too many S's. Let's just keep it simple. Let's just call it the Sterling spread. Seven rod spread for yellowfin tuna. Very effective. That's my comfort zone, all right? Again, there are other uh, things you can put out there, but we're going to go through these bad boys right here, all right? Right there. Take a peek at it. That is my zucchini, because the Italians, that's my zucchini, 18 inch wide tracker. Completely deadly. A whack of fish on it. Don't ask me how, but I am, because I'm listening, all right? Not only that, I got this twin brother over here. How you doing? What is that? That's a 36 inch zucchini. Why do you tune like zucchini? I have no idea. 
people today buy zucchini. They also say buy this color here. That is uh, purple plum, whatever you want to call it. Deadly. I have no idea why, but it is. They tell me to do it, that's why I do it, all right? You hear a lot of these tuna nuts with colors that are oh, they're biting on this. Me, personally, I don't know if that's true or false. It's like the Maja Spoon thing. Do they like white? Do they like chartreuse? Do they like chrome? Do they like gold? Me, personally, I think they like the action of it. I think they're looking at it and it's silhouetted in the sun. And they really don't see the color that much because they feed from below and they're looking up and they're like, they see the action and say, that looks like a pumpkin to me. How you doing, ladies? All right? That's my theory. All right? But do I, if I had a gun to my head and say, hey, what freaking Maja Spoon would you buy? I'd say get the chartreuse. All right, so there's my thing. Again, I always told this in my stories here. Chartreuse, which is not a real color, it's a man-made color. It is the best color for a striped bass to see in their spectrum, in their sight spectrum. That's a fun fact right there. So, and in that, on that note, they're whack fish. So again, if I was ever, some guy held me hostage and said, you gotta catch a striped bass and with a major spoon, what spoon would you buy? It'd be the chartreuse spoon. Greens, chartreuse, whatever, zucchini, I have no idea. Again, we whack a nice one on the white ones, so who the heck knows? I don't know. I'm not experienced enough to know. All I know is these freaking things that these people tell me to comment, of, like shooting me the emails, yo, get sterling tackle, get the zucchini, get the freaking purples. All right, Steve, I think I need the zucchinis and the purples. And, he and Steve concurred, and that's what we did. The majority of the spread is zucchinis and purples. And they're deadly. I mean, what am I going to tell you? Although, this happens to be my favorite. I'm getting way ahead of the, the curve here. But I'm going to jump ahead. I don't care. Because I make no sense anyway. But my favorite is my way, way back. And it's called, Andy calls it the Mexican. I mean, that is that racist? Is that racist? I don't think it is. It's got, it's got the colors of, it reminds me of Mexico. So is calling a, a, a spread of bar Mexican racist because the colors remind you of Mexico? Is that racist? I have no idea because apparently I'm a Christian, so I'm an extremist. And I don't support critical race theory, so I am a domestic terrorist. So I, I have no idea. So I, I'm obviously a bad person here because I believe in Christianity and believe in that people could be whoever they want to be. I'm very confused in this world. I had no idea I was a domestic terrorist and an extremist because of what I believe in. All right, so let's go on here. This video is about catching elephant tuna. That's it. Let's not get uh, crazy here. We're going to go into this right now. We're going to go into it really slowly and we're going to show you how to do this. I mean, it's simple as it gets. We're going to go through the gear. Again, we have uh, all the Sterling's gear right here and how I deploy it and how I was told to deploy it. Uh, Steve had a couple extra tips on how to do it and that's exactly what we did. And I mean, he was spot on. He, he, he was even telling you what bait's gonna get hit. That way, way back with the spread ball with this bad boy right here, all right? So what we do is we throw this bad boy on the way, way back, which is a crazy eight, all right? The Mexican crazy eight. I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for saying that. I have no idea. I mean, no offense to Mexicans, obviously. Because it's the color of Mexican, it's like, Whatever. Get over this crap. It's, I, I mean, you have to worry about everything you say in this world. It's ridiculous. So, what we do is we put a bird on that because it goes way, way back. Way, way back, obviously. So explanatory. And you want to see the Crazy 8s have just a bunch of action to it itself. But as it gets way back there, you want to be able to visually see these spreads and see where, you, where your baits are. And the... Uh, the bird here assists that. So we put the bird on and then we attach the crazy eight to that bird. It really puts a lot of motion out there. I don't know. I have no idea. But it works constantly. The most of our yellow fin are coming off of that for some reason. I have no idea. That's what it is. Again, I have zero experience. I'm just telling you how I'm doing this stuff and how I'm catching these fish. All right? Get a bird. Take crazy eight. Ship it back way, way back. Straight in the middle of the boat. We get to that though. All right? So let's go to the website. SterlingTackle.com. We go to the seven rod setup, zero outriggers. All right, that puts so many people into the game right now at the lower level, as you know, single screw boats and stuff like that. You can get out to the inshore tuna bite. If you deploy this system here, you're catching fish. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I'm a licensed captain. I've been fishing my whole life. When you deploy these things out, and you're fishing and you're aggressively checking those baits. That's a key key fact here too that I found out. If you're not looking at those things and you're running through. You run into weeds and stuff like that. You have to cut. You cannot be lazy in this sport, apparently. Just keep changing your mouth doing right. Uh, you take yourself out of the game. If you if you if you're spread a bar or your daisy chain or whatever goes through a, a thing of weeds and it hooks up a weed, these these fish are so freaking friendly. The game. If if your business end has a piece of weed on as small as possible, 
that baits out of the game, right? Now think about it, you got seven baits out there. If seven of them, you're dragging weeds and you're just lazy, you're not pulling this gear and constantly checking it, you're not gonna catch fish, bottom line. You have to aggressively and physically get in the game here and just tell your crew, all right, check out. And what we do is we'll pull the port side in one time, we'll pull the starboard side. So the port's always fishing while the starboard side's being checked. This is pretty simple stuff here, but maybe you don't understand that. So that's a tip right there. If I can tell you anything I learned about tuna fishing on the troll, do not be lazy. Get that gear in, check it constantly. Do it systematically where you're always fishing, all right? Remember, you have seven baits out in the water. Pull two in. You got five active baits going. Those two go back out. You know you're fishing right. Check the next guys. Go and do opposite sides. Very simple stuff. Not very labor intensive because these baits aren't far out. You could crank them in really quick. Boom, check them out. Deploy them out. That's it. But don't be lazy. All right. If you're lazy, you're not going to catch fish. But if you have a working crew like I do and you just have these guys and you just kind of say, hey guys, check this, check that. Boom. You're in the game, baby. You're catching fish. As we're explaining this stuff, we're going to go through all the gear. All right. We're going to go through all the trackers uh planers on the trackers and explain that too all right so let's get to that right now all right folks let's start off with my favorites they are by far the easiest to deploy all right crazy eights purple zucchini y viva mexico all right i believe they call that rainbow all right so this is the go-to stuff all right let's let's open the green i want to show you what this baby looks like just so you guys get an idea. Again, this is all for beginners, so bear with me, all right? This is, uh, if you guys are old school fishermen, tuna guys, get over it. Looks like he's on the ground. Crazy eights, what are they? They are eight birds like this. And these things make crazy, crazy disturbance in the water, all right? The business end, okay? So the business end is this guy right here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you a good video of that, but look at the, I mean, it's no joke. That hook right there, basically hooks you just looking at it, but that's the business end, all right? Obviously, I didn't know what I was doing with this stuff because I thought, initially when I first looked at tuna guys, I always thought that all these things, <laughs> all these things had hooks in it and they're like dangerous as hell to use, but I'm clueless. They don't. So when you see us now leadering, and we're putting pressure on the fish to leader it, we're grabbing it here, and we're not obviously getting hooked up, all right? The hook only, again, is here at the end, all right? That's what's gonna do the damage. These are like stainless hooks. I don't know what they use, but they are off the charts right there, all right? So that's that, a little, uh, I don't know what that is, egg stuff in the middle there, bullet head, cherry vanilla, all right? That gets hooked up to, and that's your, you can switch those out whatever color you want. It switches out with this terminal tackle right here. All, I mean, I don't tackle. This is all high-end stuff right here. It's got uh, chief guard on there, huge crimps, serious high-end barrels. All good stuff, all right? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the crazy eight right there. Crazy eight being eight of these, eight of these guys here. Starting trouble. Making a crazy uh, disturbance in the water. And trailing behind is Mega Mooch. All right, that's that. Next one. I love this one too, so I, I don't know. They're all my favorites. I'm terrible. Let's open that bad boy up. Again, sterling. When you get your sterling stuff, all these packages. When you get your stuff, sterling has all these packages, right? Obviously, this is screened here and this is clear. What you do is you're going to hose that stuff down, get the salt off it, and then you lay it down, screen down in the sun. All the water evaporates, leaks out the bottom. This stuff's cherry vanilla and clean. All right, so that comes with it. Love that stuff too. Each one this is the 18 inch. Obviously, it has a corresponding size to it as far as the bag is. Let's take that out and look at the trouble it makes. Again, this, this guy has a lot of bodies on it. Put that down there. This guy's got a lot of bodies on it. And this is what it is. All right, here's your planer board. Acrylic, clear, pretty cool. You can't see it, obviously, if it's in the water. My favorite part right here, probably one of the smallest things I've ever seen tackle people do because planer boards, if you, I know what planer boards, how they work, so I know this will plane out starboard because the way it is, but if you're not, if you're a beginner, you're not gonna know which one's which. Uh, obviously this is foolproof. Obviously the tuna can't see that. It's coming from the bottom, obviously up. 
and I don't think Tune can read, all right? But if you're in a helicopter, you'll see that it says starboard on top. But smart play by uh, Sterling, 100%. You can look at that stuff and clearly put that over your starboard side, all right? I love that part of it. These are all, I think, titanium. All no joke, all swivels. All right, so this is right here. This guy right here is the starboard side, and this is the 18-inch wide tracker. Deadly as heck. All right, I believe I, we got our first bluefin on this guy here of the year. And again, you got two squids, bulb squids, and then you got a hole down the middle bulb squid. I'm going to go right down the bulb squid down the middle. That's your terminal tackle left. You can see it. Really no joke. All good stuff. All crimps. All quality stuff. I'm kind of a stickler for that. All right, again, you can change out whatever you want for your, your trailing hook, your teaser hook. And we're going to go to this guy here. Same as the crazy, uh, crazy eight, right? Same high end stuff. Great crimps. I guess I'm, I'd be, I don't know what the hell this is. I'm assuming that these are supposed to resemble eggs or something. I have no idea. Whatever it is, deadly as heck. All right. So that is the 18 inch wide tracker. And again, those are going to go on the midships on the outside. Okay. Now we go to the big boy. This guy's trouble. This guy. We had we had a situation in the last deployment. We lost one of our. Uh, I lost my starboard. I want to talk about that, but let's look at her. This is a monster board guy here too. All right, that's what I'm doing. This guy has a lot of luggage on. Him. Now this guy has a lot of luggage on. Him. Again, there's the plane board right there. All right, this is what makes these guys wide trackers. This is the port one, and it's going to plane out. And if you can see the plane board right here, picture it in the water right now, coming at you. As the water hits it, it wants to push out. All right, that's what the plane board does. Water comes out of it, and it wants to push out. It planes all the way out. This plane board on the 36 is much bigger than the one that's on the 18. All right, I'm just going to hit that one out. I want to keep those out just to show you the difference in the side of the plane boards. So, you can see the difference in the side of the plane boards. Clearly, the one on the bottom is much bigger on the 36 because it's moving a lot more tackle. All right, these are huge titanium bars. Freaking off the charts quality. I mean, it really is. What's cool about this, and I'll show you what's cool about the 36 in a second, is there's your plane board again. I don't know if you can see that. I want you to look at the 36 inch plane board, much bigger. Why do I use the plane, this plane board for the outside? Because it pushes out further, in my experience, all right? Uh, we were supposed to do it the opposite way, have the midship one as a 36 and the far outside one as an 18. Didn't work for us. What worked for us was the 36 on the outside because this plane of boat was much bigger, it was grabbing better and pushing out deeper, out further off the boat, all right? So that's what we're doing. What's cool about this guy right here, basically has a crazy eight wrapped in the middle. It's got these little guys at the middle with the, uh, the birds that make a freaking massive ruckus, all right? All right, so that's that. There's your plane aboard. I want to get you a better look at that. All your tackles off the charts. It's crimson mint. These things really got the beans kicked out of them. If you look at them, they're in perfect shape. I'm really, that, that's, that's what impressed me the most. When you see fish like that, whack these things, you'd think your tackles could be destroyed, but it's like cherry vanilla, all right? Right to that guy. And here's this guy, a little different. He's just a little different color. I don't know, maybe that's what Stevie does. And that's it again. There's your down, that's your stuff right there. Sick ass. That hook is off the chart sharp. It reminds me of the uh, the Masha sidewash hooks, these stainless hooks. They're just ridiculously strong and sharp as heck. All right. All right. So that's that. So we have the 36 inch wide tracker. We have the 16 inch wide tracker, and then we have our friends right here, the old crazy eights. Freaking love these things. These things are so inexpensive, really. Guys, go out there. Tell the missus Christmas is coming. Reach out to Sterling and get these things. I mean, these, like I said, this is a, this is a, this is a soft buy here. These are very inexpensive. And I use the word inexpensive again. They're not cheap. Cheap just means they're garbage. Quality stuff, awesome Christmas gifts. All right. And again, the whole system and the scheme of things is very inexpensive. All right. It's basically two 36s, two 18s, and three crazy eights. And you get this bird right here for you way, way back, all right? Click the bird on, click the crazy eight to the bird, off she goes, way, way back. And that's the first one you deploy. All right, so let's go through that right now. Deploying these things, how do you deploy them? Very simple. The way, way back goes out first. 
all right why because it goes all the way back and straight out the middle no big deal next you're going to work your way out to in if that makes any sense to you the next ones are going to be the 36 inch wide trackers both port and starboard they're going to plane out and get out of your way so next day after that you're going to sneak in the two 18s and then at the end we'll just sneak out the two crazy eights all right what steve suggested i do and try this if you wish, all right, these Tony Masha Outriders are not designed for this. But I did it anyway because I don't care because I tested the Tony Masha leashes, which I love, and they're going to save my rod, all right? So what Steve was suggesting is if you can get these rods, the up-close Crazy 8s, in and out rather, it kind of pushes it outside the wash of the double outboards, all right? And that's exactly what it did. It kind of just reached that, that Crazy 8 and put it right outside the, the uh, wash of my... Uh, outboards it was perfect it worked like a charm uh the tony masha rod holders didn't snap we got fish on both of them it was money so uh something to think about right there you do not necessarily have to do that you can put them in the straight backs drop them down with release clips and put those two crazy eights right in the right out on the edge of that wash and they're gonna catch fish just as much because it did for us when we were bluefin fishing all right so there you go all right hopefully this stuff is making sense uh again Christmas is coming. Get out there. No BS. These are very inexpensive buys for your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Heck, I mean, there's a lot of hardcore girl fishermen out there, all right? So consider getting them a nice little sterling package for Christmas, all right? How you doing, ladies? So again, this is basically just tiptoeing into the tuna game, the elephant tuna game, and the bluefin tuna game. Ensure how you can do it with seven rods, no outriggers, all right? People are like, I'll have outriggers. Don't worry about it. Sterling's already solved that problem for you. They have 36 inch wide trackers. They push out, trust me. Then you got your 18s. How you doing, ladies? Then what we got? Crazy 8s. Woohoo! Crazy eights. We got doubled up again, baby! Let's go with the shark fishing right now. Good. You're good. Ciao. Andy, you want to put your belt on? You can do that. No, you can do that. Alright. How you doing, kid? Good. I'm gonna pick it down. You're gonna just in gear now, guys. Forward gear. Little pilots are coming. Yo, Taj, you're working your ass off today, kid. You know I'm built for this, kid. What work to have, Bobby? Huh? Push it oh, today. yeah. Yeah. This is what happens on Sterling Tackle, guys. All morning. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Don't work, Bobby. Sorry. I'm, I'm just waiting for a couple more bites, but right now we got Bobby on. This has been off the charts right now. Off the charts. Right, Kit? Love it. Unbelievable. What a day. What a day. Kit, go cheese, baby. <laughs> With two bucks that doesn't know a damn thing about tuna fishing, this sterling tackle is really rocking the beans out of it. And what's hitting the wait, most? Wait, wait. Why are you on the surface? Okay. Well, maybe it's a small fish. Yeah, it's probably a bonita or something like that. You want me to slow down and get them in? Yeah, I can slow down. Alright, so we got fish on. If it starts going sideways, I'll move the other ship up for now. Yeah, if you can pull it right up the middle there, we'll see what happens. Hey. Oh, 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 oh fish on! on. Well, wow, that was a good oh, hit. Oh, that, that was, was sick! Hit. That was sick as oh, We got real fish right, on here. Down, Clean down, these down, rods. Down. Clean these rods now. No, we're off! Oh. Bro, we got a big fish on. He's got a big fish Oh boy. That's a good fish. I hit it right on the surface. That was sick. That was totally oh, sick. Oh boy. Okay. Keep it in pressure. Keep pressure. Oh, Andy, Andy, you deal with that fish. I got it. I got it. Do you think? I got it. Come on, Andy. Don't let him ride. Don't let him ride. Bobby, you still on there, kid? We got a lot of fish. Andy's got a huge fish on. You want this? You want this? Yeah, get it get in. Get that thing in. ASAP. We gotta clear for Andy's fish. I'm gonna go a little to your left, Andy. Let me horse this, see what it is. Andy, hold on. I know. Go. Listen, look at look at what you're doing here, you two. Right. Joey, Get don't, don't go. Right. Right. Hold on, hold on, Bobby. No, don't Bobby, go in. Bobby, look what you're doing, Bobby. You gotta come around me, Bobby. Oh my god, he's the screamer. Andy, go under him and go back. I am. I got you. This All right, step this in. This is a big okay. fish. Step in. Got it. All right, keep pressure on that thing. That's come a legit on. fish. Joey, I need you to clear the uh, starboard side, kid. Bob, you see that fish? I'll deal with you, kid. Yeah, I'll, I'll take you with I'll just, I'll just bring him over. We're gonna deal with Andy's fish. This is a big fish right here. Uh, tiles, you have a, you, is there one more spot in that trident? Yeah, it could be, yes. There okay. Is. We got that one ship 
I want you just to clear this one ride with me. Uh, I got that, but stay with it. I got something. I'm in. All right, Andy's good to go, right? Yep, I'm good. All right, Andy, yeah, I'll kick you down a little bit. Down, down. Yeah. You're in gear, Andy. No problem. But you're just in regular gear? Yep. Oh, that's a trick. Am I tossing this? Yeah, you can toss that, Bob. Don't hear about it. No, he's fine. He's nowhere near getting that fishing yet. No, he's got work to do. Andy does. Andy likes the tuna. This is a good one. This is a good one. That was a sick bite. That was great hit. <laughs> Bobby, if you can, babe. Yeah, what do you need? Yeah, so I need you to get you this fish. It. Tiles? Yes, sir. You are going to uh, lead this fish for Andy. Bobby's gonna gaff it. You're gonna lead him, Bobby's gonna gaff it. Okay. Looks like we're gonna be on this side, boys. You got it. You're perfect, Bob. Uh, I got a leash then. He still has a while to go. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Just don't lose any gear. This is a good, this is yeah, a good fish. Right fish came right off. Bobby, yeah. did you see that? That was fish? fucking great. Yeah, I saw that. Sick it boom! Yeah, I saw that the explosion. So yep. sick. That's the uh, white side track. Alright, we're all good, you guys. We're good. You might have, you might have to Everything's all leash. Yep, yep, I will, yep. I have to start running the boat, unfortunately. Might clear all the nuts. This is nuts. I'm going to put him on your right side there, at your left. Wait, which side, Mark? This side, right? Yep, exactly, yep. I'm going to put him right have there. Right here. I just went out of the way until he walks up the side, you know what I mean? This is a good fish. <laughs> that was great on the slowdown. Boom! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's literally right near the other one. Keep that rod tip up! Yeah, Andy, no. dry, Andy likes to dry hump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep that, that rod tip up! At the top of that one, you got a little hesitation. Move you know, the I mean, you're, like, you're like, oh! <laughs> put that underneath! It's your work, Andy. I didn't think one was anything. You think it's a single gaffer? Yeah, it's got to be, right? Yeah. Okay, at least really got the side. So, Tyler, Andy's going to walk up the ship. You're going to be to his right. You're going to lead and Bob's going to gaff. Sounds good. So, we all have the plan here. We know we're going. Yep, Bob's right here. I just want to add the order. When you're walking up, I'll grab it. Everything Make looking sure good? Make sure you have pressure on it! Move! Good turn, Mom. Not bad for pushing Yep, exactly. Let's get a land this fucker. He loves dry humping, does it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he's all about Great that. motion. <laughs> great dry he learned humping. This, he learned this in pre-K. This is a freaking <laughs> legit fish here. <laughs> yeah. Taz, what kind of fish did you get? It's gonna be a biggie, man. You know, I don't know if it's gonna be as big as mine. I'm just saying. Look at Tyler's I'm talking. saying I'm giving this at least a 50 pound class. Right. Oh, there he is up on the right. He's trying to Don't change the throttles. I'm not. Keep it sitting there. There he is. Nice fish. Go straight. Real nice fish. Go straight. Go straight. Okay, just don't take pressure off that. Oh, I got pressure on. I got pressure on. All right, go on, take it. All right, whatever. You need a second gaff or you good? I got him. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. Kyle, he's got him. Let him go. Good work. Right, nice. Good work. Good work, Cap. Good work, Cap. Got another one. Got another one. <laughs> got another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got another one. Matter of fact, we had too many that day. But uh, again, I hope this episode helps you out a little bit. Still in tackle. Still in push to be. Oh, 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 Mrs. Kid coming in. Beer oh, assistant. Get over here. Come down, say hello to everybody. Hi. How you doing? I'll do cheers. Cheers. Sterling tackle right there. What'd you think about that video? Too long? Way too long. It's too long. I, I, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that either. <laughs> Alright, but that's it. Yeah, I'm metrosexual. I can drink those beers. I don't care. It's pumpkin. What's this? Shipyard? Shipyard. The best pumpkin beer out there. Allegedly. Ship Going Mrs. Kid. Shipyard. The best pumpkin no, beer out there. No, it's a hunter. Allegedly. 
And Peggy Lindemann. And Peggy Lindemann, who follows me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. The next episode, Giant Bluefin Tuna. No joke, crazy episode. Plus, Mrs. Kid's gonna be doing a giveaway. You wanna tell them quick? Come around, quick. What are you gonna do real quick with your giveaway? I found a bunch of these downstairs. Not a bunch. Five. Five? I don't know. When I was cleaning the basement. And what are you gonna do with that thing over there? And no. then I'm gonna put some names in here. <laughs> Comments that I like, <laughs> which means I'm gonna have to she watch spent, all this. She spent a lot, a long time doing that stuff. Really he doesn't like my outfit, but I'm very cozy. <laughs> so I'm in my cozies too. If you didn't catch that in the video today, we've been filming since this morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Till next time. Again, this was episode was for Keep Talking Junk. This episode was for New Jack Tuna Fisherman going out there. Way too long. Oh but no, but if you were like. If Sterling didn't hook me up, wouldn't you get me the stuff for Christmas? Yes. Tell the missus out, the people out there, buy that. So, all you ladies out there that are Kid Cochise watchers. Probably three of them. Go out and buy your hubbies and your significant others. Sterling Tackle. Bingo. All right, Joey Tiles, let's take this out with a nice gaff technique. Okay, so there you go. I can gaff them. Just keep the pressure on the bar. Pass over and pull to you. Got him. There you go. Yeah. There hey folks, thanks again for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. If you have a second, consider subscribing below and like if you like. Also, share this video with a friend. Thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors.